Welcome back, welcome back. It is me, Brit Reacts, and today we are reacting to my Auntie Reba. That's right, my Auntie Reba singing the national anthem at this year's Super Bowl. <laughs> Let's see what she has to say. To honor America and perform our national anthem, entertainment icon, Reba McIntyre. Icon is right. <clears throat> What so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleam, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight for the grand parts we watched were so gallantly streamed and the Oh. Guys, oh, do you know how hard it was for me not to stop that? You guys taught me the first time I ever reacted to one where I stopped through not to do that. So respect to our country. I held it all in. You, what, what's the first thing you thought I was going to say? Because if it wasn't about those pants, then you don't know me. Those, well, I, we need to go, we got to no, start over. I mean, just to say, I'm going to just mute it and walk through it because those pants... You guys, the pants, Auntie Reba. I, I just want y'all to see the close up. And yes, I know that it's altered, but okay. So I missed the whole opening of the game. I did watch majority of the game, but you know, I have an infant in my house. And so I'm on his time. Okay. Um, I do try to always catch all of the performances, <clears throat> but I missed it. So when I, so here's a funny story. Here's how I found out that Auntie Reba even sang the national anthem two days later. There is like a meme going around. She has on like a blue fur coat and boots and cow, cowgirl boots. And it says, um, I think the caption said like boots with the fur. And people are like, never in all my years after hearing that song did I think about, like it brought a new meaning to boots with the fur because I think we all thought of boots with the fur as in like boots that had fur on them, not boots with the fur. So look at Auntie Reba just redefining like lingo. <laughs> like I loved it. So I'm like, wait a minute, she was at the Super Bowl. And then that's how I figured it out. So first things first, shout out the whole styling of this with the belt, like everything. She looks fantastic. She's up there with, you know, Auntie Dolly, like and Shania Twain, all these women who are just aging so beautifully and so gracefully and like embracing that, not trying to stay relevant with the younger generation or look like the younger generation. They are just beautiful, mature women who are allowing themselves to be that. And I love that. She looks stunning. Her hair, her smile, her skin, everything. I also love that she didn't take too much time. I think sometimes people sing the national anthem so slow and it like takes a one minute and 30 second song and makes it like 10 minutes. And I also love that she didn't like overperform it. It felt very true to her as an artist, very true to like what we know of her, her voice. She didn't like try to hit notes and riffs and runs and like outperform. She kept it Reba. And I love that. Like the little subtleties that she did do, the little country twangs that we got, like it just felt like, yeah, that was right. Like it felt really right. I appreciated this so much. It was so good. And she looked, I can't get over how phenomenal she looks. You know, you see the football player crying, like, 
somehow they always catch a football player crying. I can't imagine like the amount of pressure the Super Bowl is on these men. And then like you have these moments of silence where you really can breathe it all in. Heck yeah, you better be dropping some big old crocodile tears. Are you kidding me? Like breathe that in, breathe in everything. <gasps> Goodness gracious. All right, I love this. I think it was like, a, again, like I said, I think um, I loved her tempo and her timing of it. It felt relevant. It felt fresh. It felt authentic to her. Um, and she sounded phenomenal. Like what more can you ask for when you're singing the, our country's national anthem, you know? All right, Auntie Reba, it's good to see you. I haven't seen you in a while. Wow, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Also, I have, I also found out very late. I found out this morning, it's Thursday, about what happened at the uh, parade yesterday for, you know, in Kansas City. And just God bless, you know, you guys, you got to continue to pray for our country and the people who are just hurting on the inside that they would go and hurt strangers for probably no reason. Like, and meaning like the, the I, apparently I'm just seeing news of it today. It was like maybe an altercation that broke out. And it's just like, did people have to lose their lives because of that? Like it infuriates my soul. And so I don't know what I can do here with this platform other than talk about it and bring awareness to it because I had no idea. Um, but, and also pray for every single person who's now suffering that went out to celebrate like God bless. All right, you guys, this was fantastic. I am so excited. Oh, one more thing I wanted to say. I appreciate also that the NFL in my knowledge, to my knowledge, in my memory, they always do a good job of balancing like the genres of acts like, Reba sings the national anthem. So Usher does, you know, the um, halftime show. Rihanna does the halftime show. So Chris Stapleton, like they do a good job of making sure like there's someone for everybody in, in, their, in the entertainment slots. I just appreciate that. I think, you know, I n didn't know who Reba was a year and a half ago. And so she would, this would maybe have been my introduction to her, you know, or people who had no idea who Usher was. This was his, their introduction to him, but they knew who Reba was. I just think they do a good job of finding the balance in uh, representing some, some, you know, someone for everyone. I think that's great. All right. Anyway, I've talked enough. That was fantastic. Amen. Hallelujah. Have a good day. Goodbye.